Next, it's Apple Boutique. Recently, we spoke to John and Philip from the band to find out more about their chequered history. Both in the servants, and they split up about '86, and then I got an offer to join Felt, but it was only temporarily, really, because um, I got offered to go on tours, and the same with Biff Bang Power, really, just helping out more than anything else. It was never uh, really that serious. Temping. Yeah, temping. <laughs> Musically temping. You were playing bass, weren't you, in, yeah. in these bands? Did you feel that you wanted a group of your own? Mm, I think most bass players do. You always see sort of bass players on stage they always edge their way towards the singer. It's like it seems to be sort of natural, they want more of the limelight. Always on my mind from the moment that I rise to when I go to bed now. I think well I think it's just very trying to be very English folk music, really, of the eighties. Only thing that I have learned is being persistent. I went into creation with a tape because Alan, I just said to Alan, I had a song, so I popped into creation to just get his advice on it. And I took it in, he sort of played it on his aunt's machine and said, Great, we'll do it as a single. I was really surprised, you know. It was that immediate. And then it was out pretty quickly. Only thing that I have learned is being persistent, take no love resistance. It's just a love song about missing someone far away. Um, oh. Unrequited love. It's probably best that way. So, what was the, what was the story behind the video? In... Um, well, it was just a very low budget video, and no extras. I mean, we wanted to film it all in one day, so it just had me wandering in various directions around Portsmouth Harbour. Um, there's no message in it. <laughs> just, it just looked good, really, more than anything else. It's like, it's like the perfect relationship, you know. I found it. <laughs> I'm stick with it. So what, what direction are you going now, then? Uh, I want to use more keyboards. And just to make it, I suppose, to make it more modern sounding. The problem is that to make it sound really modern and proficient takes time and money. And we don't have very much money, really, at the moment. a good chance to travel around and to play and enjoy yourself and get out of the the uh, circle of doing normal activities like work which isn't much fun but I'd say it's just something that you've got to do so you do it <laughs> 